Hey everyone, I am here to do, I know we did this uh, water ritual before for you guys. Um, we have our, um, we have a super moon tonight. I think it's the last super moon of the year as well. It's in Scorpio. It is called the flower moon. So I'm going to show you how to do a water ritual, um, which I did for you guys before, but I never saved it to the playlist. Um, now, keep in mind, you can also do the, um, the flower ritual for the earth. It's on the playlist, and it says it's for, like, new moons and full moons in earth signs. But, even though this is a moon happening in a water sign, you can actually do both or either or one of these rituals. doesn't matter. Because, um, because of the fact that it's a flower moon you can also do the earth ritual so totally up to you i'm doing both of them um because i love doing the earth one's my favorite one to do because it's a lot of fun it has to do with potting everything that you need for the earth ritual you can find right at dollar general and i go over that with you when you're watching the um video i'll talk to you about it um so it, it's not like a big deal it it is more involved than the water ritual but it's a lot of fun and sometimes we do it as a group me and my friends so um these are very positive times to write down like i would take on my paste piece of paper here i didn't do mine yet but i don't know if you can see this without me burning it in a candle just a regular piece of paper any kind of piece of paper any kind and a glass any kind of glass and with water in it and you can put as much water as you want i just put a little in here to show you guys but you will write out, you know, like I would write on here. This is my personal thing. You do whatever you want. But I would write on here. I would address it to who I believe in. And then I would say, dear, you know, I believe in God, Mother God. I have a whole spiritual team I believe in. My spirit guides and angels. I'd write it all down on here. I'd address it to all of them. Um, I believe, uh, I mean... You guys can believe in whoever and whatever you believe in and write it all down on there or address it to them. And I would put on here um, that I want health, peace, love, happiness, joy, and abundance for myself, my friends, my neighbors, my subscribers. Um, and I'd, I'd list um, anything really important to me, like um, there's there's special health needs I'd like to see happen for my son. So I'd put that on here. Um, there's a uh, special requests I'd like to see happen for a couple friends of mine. I'd put that on here. You know, it's time to just, um, and I'd also will put on here everything that I'm grateful for that I have in my life or the people I have in my life that I'm thankful for. Anything you want to do always has to be positive though, guys. We never want to like, to use this to you know wish harm to anyone or to ask for negative things it's always got to be positive it's got to be for the best and highest good of all um it's a good time to ask really for those in need i i will also be putting something on here that's going to be a request for uh, all of us the world um and it's going to have to do with the coronavirus so I'm going to also be asking my spiritual team to um, help us with this coronavirus and help the people, help everybody, all of us, and especially help the people who, who are sick and the people who have lost people. So that's what I'm going to be doing on mine. I just wanted you guys to know you can make the sheet as big as you want. It doesn't matter. I'm probably going to need a bigger sheet for everything I just said to you guys. You can fold it, whatever you want, and then you tape it onto your glass of water. You can put, like I said, as much or as little water in here as you want. You don't want to put too much water because you're going to drink this water. Okay, so your request is right here. Okay, it's on the water. You've got your candles lit. I would bring all my, tonight I'm going to have, I'm going to be doing this outside and I'm going to have all my crystals out and I'm going to have them sitting out so that they will um, be charged by the full moon tonight. So tonight's the night, guys. Charge your crystals out under the full moon. So all my crystals will be out. I'll have a bunch of candles lit. 
Um, I will be putting the candles out when I go in the house, though. They're not going to stay lit at night. But the, the only thing that I'm going to leave out there tonight is going to be the crystals. Okay, so now... <clears throat> I like that this is the flower moon because we can do the potted plant. We can also do this one. Now with the potted plant, you're going to put your same sheet in the potted plant when you plant the flowers. And I use, um, I use wild seed flowers, you know, wildflower seed. Okay, everything I get, I've I talked to you guys on that video. It's on my playlist. So go on there and check out the earth ritual that you can do. For the this is all for the full moon tonight okay um you can do it tonight you can do it tomorrow night you can even do it the next night doesn't matter that moon's still going to be bright enough i would do it within the next two nights i'm going to do it tonight all right so i have my candles lit i have what i want written here i personally like to pray so i'd say a little prayer uh, when i pray it's more like talking to my spiritual team my you know, the people I believe in, everyone I believe in, I will call in and I will tell them that um, I'm going to be asking for things for the people I love. Uh, and I will be reading after I'm done saying my little prayer or right before I say my prayer, I usually read my request list or it doesn't matter whichever way you want to do it. Um, I'd be talking to them about that. I'd read them the, the list of everything that I, I have asked for. And then um, with the paper still attached, so make sure that you fold your paper down so you can do it in whatever way you can, you drink the water. Okay, so and when you're done, when, well, be, right before you drink the water, you're going to read everything on your list. And down at the bottom, you're going to write, and so it is, in big letters with exclamation point. Or you can write, so mote it be with big exclamation point at the bottom um whatever it is but you want to write those in capital letters with an exclamation point you know and make sure that you give your gratitude and how grateful you are to be able to ask for these sort of things and for the previous things you've gotten in your life and all that make sure you thank your team for even acknowledging and considering your requests for the people you love or for yourself, whatever you need. All right, then you're going to drink the water. All right, then you're done with, you know, this part of the ritual. Then I take my paper off, you know, I have it taped on here, but I take it off and I go to a safe place, a fire pit, um, and I burn my, um, my paper and I ask the element of fire to take it up to the universe for me so the element of fire takes over from here so we've used the element of water and fire now this is not happening in a fire sign but um, I don't that's my favorite way of getting my message up to the universe like after I'm done with my ritual you know you can you can bury it you can put it in that potted plant we talked about. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to be doing two. So I'm going to be doing this one. And then I'm going to, just to get that third element in there that I like to do. Anytime I do a water ritual, I always do a fire ritual. You know, the fire, um, I burn it. And ask, that's my last step. I burn it and ask the element of fire to take, you know, take this up to the universe for me. Um, you don't have to do that part if you don't want to. And if you do do it, make sure you just do it in a really safe place, like in a fire pit or, you know, in a place that's safe. But um, especially for me here today, it's really windy here. So I'm going to do it in a safe, I have a big metal bowl that I'll do it in, but um, to just make sure that it stays contained. But you don't even have to burn it. You can take the same one that you used for the water ritual and put it at the bottom of your potted plant and do your... Um, earth ritual so that would be because this the only reason we would do a, an earth ritual on a water sign moon this is a scorpio moon is because this particular moon is called a flower moon and it has to do with the spring and the flowers so it's okay to do both so um either or you can just do one if you just want to do water this one's really simple i mean you don't need you don't have to go out and get anything um, some of us have pots and 
potting soil and seed or whatever in our garage and you can use any kind of plant anything you plant is called your it's your abundance plant whatever abundance you're asking for for the people that you care about or anyone that you asked for anything for the whole theory is that that plant grows while their abundance grows um, or you know while they get healthier or while they get you know while sickness is being healed while the world is being healed of coronavirus whatever it is the whole theory is as that plant grows so do these things that you've asked for this relief for people or help for people or um, whatever it is whatever it is now this is not a time to be writing down I want a Ferrari this is not a time to be go writing down I want to win the lottery that's not what this is about um, that's between you and your spiritual team and if you want to ask for those kind of things totally up to you but that's not what this kind of a ritual is this is a very spiritual ritual a time for you to reflect on your gratitude and thanks a time to think of other people in your life and what you want to um, bring in for them as well as your needs your needs are important too. put them on here don't feel bad about that if you have needs you have to ask for that's perfectly fine your team wants you to ask for what you need all right now um, same exact thing with the the earth ritual which you can find on my playlist i'll go over it step by step with you but it basically entails the same general idea of how to you know what you want to write on here how you want to put it in the plant how you want to put it in your potting soil how you want to say your prayers whatever you want to do um how you talk to your spiritual team and it doesn't matter who or what you believe in that doesn't matter i have my beliefs you have yours and i respect every single one of your beliefs um, totally, absolutely. Um, I'm open to, I'm open to like almost every single form of religion. I, I just love that people believe in something, you know? Um, so whatever works for you, if, um, if you check out my playlist, um, you know, if you're in my channel and you go up to the top, you see, you can scroll across and look at playlist. Um, you'll see, you know, community, you'll see about, and you'll see playlist, go on to playlist and you'll see I have one earth ritual on there. And it's the one that I'm talking about, the potted plant. Um, I'll probably add this to the playlist too. Because the last couple times I did it, I forgot to add it. But um, hopefully this will help someone. And hopefully you'll have a great full moon ritual evening tonight. That moon's going to be beautiful tonight. It's, I believe, our last super moon of the year. It is time to manifest, guys. Let's manifest in health wellness let's get this planet healed whatever we can do right so um i don't know i feel like the more people if if you guys don't mind i don't care if you have to squeeze it on your paper somewhere putting in something to help the planet with this coronavirus thing help the people i would so much appreciate it because i feel like the more people that write that on their list the more help we're going to get with that um, and like I said, when you're done saying everything you have to say, drink the water, and then you can either put this in the potted plant, burn it, or bury it, whatever, you know, is easier for you. If you choose to burn it, just make sure you do it in a very safe place, in a fire pit, or something that's contained, because it will blow around, you know, in the air. All right, guys, I hope that this was helpful, and I hope you guys get everything that you're asking for. Every single one of you will be on my list anyone who subscribed to the channel anyway because i'm going to be asking for abundance healing health and wellness and blessings for all of you all right so you guys will be included on my list but i'd love to see you do it as well all right for the people that you care about for yourself for your needs because i don't know each of your individual needs so i'm just going to do my best okay all right guys um it's a really good time all right so get those manifestations out there let's get this world healed all right okay guys um let me know if how it went if you did it let me know if you enjoyed it get your crystals out under that moon tonight leave them out all night if you want get them under you know keep them where they're safe but you know under the moon okay make sure that moon shines on them at some point during the night all right, I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you're going to do it. Let me know if you did do it. Okay, bye.